All right, welcome back. Look, there's something on my jacket. But uh, welcome back to the channel. Um, first off, let me just say, uh, I appreciate <laughs> the past two days have been very funny. So I appreciate that time. But um, it's time to get back to business. Um, this has been highly, highly requested. You know who you are. Got you. I told you I got you. So here it is. Jesse Howard, little boy and the preacher man. Now I was reading some comments. Somebody said, you know, the song caused them to, you know, crying their beer. Now listen, if it's like that, get your tissues ready. I don't know what genre this is, so all I do know, you need to put that cancer stick away. But without further ado, oh, I'm stupid. Come on, pre prerequisites, Manny. If you're new to this channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. If you have any video song suggestions, Discord, comments, both down below. Without further ado, let's hop into it. Why do I feel like this is about to be country? One Sunday morning yep. after church, the preacher was shaking hands. A little boy walked up and said, Can I please talk to your preacher man? Okay. He said, My daddy left my mama and me, and it's been a couple years. And my mama's boyfriend don't like me much, especially after a couple of beers. And sometimes when he hits me, I close my eyes real tight, and I wish that place you always talked about. Was real with all my mind. You know what this reminds me of? <laughs> what is that? What is the case? What is the case? It was a case of uh, a little boy uh, getting abused. Oh, I forget the name. It was on Netflix. But this song, the well, the intro at least, it kind of reminds me of that case. Um, without being too graphic, it was, I think his last thing was like Hernandez or something. Daniel Hernandez. Hold on. That is 6 ix name. All right. <laughs> Stupid. I'm not going to let you get the chance. Gabriel Fernandez. Just the intro to that. Just, I don't know. It, that's automatically what, what, what was playing in my head, but. Listen, if you if you have a strong heart and you're able to bear very sad things, I don't advise you watch it, but if you want to, you can. It's on Netflix. I don't know if it's still there, but this song is definitely giving me those vibes. Definitely. It's about to make me cry. Hold on. <laughs> All right, you're trying to make me cry, dog. Like, see why you wanted me to react to this? Trust me, we all want to feel like that. But just remember, we're in the time of revelation. So, heaven is closer than you think. As long as you, you know, did it correctly, at least. You know, uh, Revelation 21, verse 4. And he will wipe away every tear from their eyes, and there will no longer be any death. There will no longer be any mourning or crying or pain. The first things have passed away. So, stay patient. You know, stay faithful. Don't fight in God, because, you know, heaven is on its way. It's on its way. We're in Revelation currently. And it's not going away. 
be patient. Well, the preacher man didn't know what to say, and before the little boy turned and walked away, the preacher said, son, would you like to pray? Right there, the little boy hit his knees, and he cried out, Lord, help me, please, because I don't know how much more pain I can take. Okay. And he looked up with him tears in his eyes, he said, preacher, man, I don't want to die, but I just want to know if there's a better place. Is heaven real? Cause I can't wait to go I can't there. Wait to go I there. can't wait to know how heaven feels. Is there a place where there's no more pain or dying? No why do I feel like this song is about him? I feel like this song is about him. You really trying to make me cry, huh? Disrespectful. I did you good. Are you gonna try to make me cry? Mm. I see how you is. Past midnight, the preacher man got a call. Little boys in a hospital doing bad, and a mama's boyfriend's running from along. When the preacher walked in the boys' hospital room, a little boy whispered, Can you see him too? There's an angel standing right beside you, preacher man. Now I know heaven's real. Let me tell you something. Yeah, don't make fun of my PJ. Shut up. Let me tell you something. The saying some people aren't made to have kids. It's very true. Some people are not meant to have kids, look after kids, care for kids, or be near kids. And if you know somebody who falls in this category, call CPS, please. Because you don't want it to get to a point where, you know, they're in a hospital or, you know, dead. And the perfect example I could use is Gabriel Fernandez. Now, if you know about Gabriel Fernandez, his story was very, 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 very sad. Negligence dang near in every corner of his life. Sometimes life is too precious. Life is way too precious. So if you see some, say something. Because if it was somebody in your family that you cared about, you'd want the same thing. So, enough sippy sappy. Uh, thanks for making me cry internally. Um, but if you enjoyed this video, make sure you scroll down, leave a like, comment, share, and subscribe. Turn on the post notifications. And as always, stay safe. Stay corona free. I'm running out of stuff. Um, I'm gonna let you go.
I'm gonna let you go. Just want to say I love you. I love you. Don't forget to say that to the people that you love too. Brother, big bro, I love you. Mama, I love you. Ops, love you. Chicken nugget, uh, 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 love you. Cousin, love you. Sister, love you. Let me give me a hug. I, I should give me a hug. Ah, oh, I messed up my camera. All right. <laughs> All right, but ain't in with it. I'm hot, so I need to end this quick. <sighs> Enjoy life. In my lifetime, my light shine bright. Protect your energy from poison when a python strike. My first mistake was doing robberies.